Hello everyone, I'm Maddie, and in this video I will be going over the accessory structures of the integumentary system. And in my previous video, I went into great detail over the skin, which is the main organ of the integumentary system. And I recommend that you watch that video first, and there will be a link to it in the description box below. This first accessory structure is called a hair follicle. And hair follicles are their own organs, and they have three distinct regions. The swollen base of the hair within the dermis is called the bulb. The next region is the portion of hair that's not swollen, but still within the dermis and the epidermis of the skin, which is called the root. And the final region that is the portion of hair outside of the skin is called the shaft. And within the bulb, there is this cone-shaped structure called the papilla. And if you watched the previous video, you know that the word papilla in Latin means nipple. It's kind of silly, but it kind of looks like a little nipple. And within the papilla, there are a lot of blood vessels that will supply the developing hair with nutrients. And this structure next to the um, hair follicle is another accessory structure in its own organ called a sebaceous gland or a an oil gland. And these glands will always be connected to a hair follicle and they will release sebum into the hair follicle to keep it moisturized. And they will be activated during puberty. This picture gives a better view of the next accessory organ, which is this band of smooth muscle here called the erector pili muscle. And it is connected to the papillary layer of the dermis and the hair follicle. And when it contracts, your body will get goosebumps and your hairs will stand up straight. And the next accessory organ is this coiled ball here, which is called a sweat gland or a sudoriferous gland. And there are two types of sweat glands on your body, um, one being the eccrine sweat glands, which are found all over your body, and they produce a clear perspiration made primarily of water. And eccrine glands um, have an important role in maintaining your body temperature. And the next group of sweat glands are called apocrine sweat glands. They are found in the armpit area and the genital area, and they will secrete a cloudy substances made of proteins and lipids. The next accessory organ is this tiny little yellow ball found in the dermal papillae layer of the dermis and it is called the tactile corpuscle or the Meissner corpuscle and these are little sensory receptors that respond to light touch or changes in texture like comparing the feeling of velvet to sandpaper and this deeper structure here, this red ball, is called a lamellated corpuscle or a piscinian corpuscle. These are also sensory receptors found deep within the dermis and they respond to sensations of deep pressure and high frequency vibrations. The nails are the last accessory organ of the integumentary system and I'll just go over the basic structures of the nail. And the portion of the nail that you can see is called the nail body or nail plate and it is made of dead keratinocytes just like your skin but these cells are highly packed full of keratin, making them stronger. And the next region is called the hyponchium, which is the skin underneath the free edge of the nail. And the next structure is called the eponchium or the cuticle, which is that fold of skin over the body of the nail. And the nail root is the portion of the nail that lies beneath the cuticle. And lastly, the Lunula is the crescent shape at the base of your nail that's usually a paler color. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.